another 507 Garage episode. In this episode, I'm just kind of going um, to do a little bit of, um, you know, showcasing a little bit of some of the um, new tools, partnerships that we've made. I think I announced it before, uh, but now as the new year started, we are actually <clears throat> now starting to get some of the parts from that new partnership. Um, and as you can see, the car looks the same. I haven't necessarily touched it much. Um, still waiting on parts to show up, hypertune parts that are still uh, have to make their way to us. And a transmission mount that I got that should work for uh, the uh, BMW 335 transmission. Um, I'm still waiting for that. It seems to be stuck in customs. So in the meantime, I have to call USPS sometime next week um, to try to figure out where it is. Uh, it's been in their possession or supposedly it's arrived to the US since the 7th. So I've been waiting um, and need to follow up with them to see what's going on. Also, I have to figure out what I want to do with the 335i. I haven't necessarily decided what I want to do with that car. Um, like I said, the Lexus is sitting, the BMW is still on jack stands. As I figure out what I want to do, I'm not sure what type of engine I want to swap in. If it's just going to be an N54, a 2J, what, what engine should I drop in? Um, I already know what I want to do to the exterior of the car. Um, I just don't know what I want to do engine wise. But first thing is first is getting the Lexus done. So as you can see, I have the front fenders pulled. Um, and they're just sitting on the side as I need to do the alignment on that car. I'll try to do my best, but that won't be, that won't be on this video. So that will be on the next video. For now, the focus is on, the focus is on some of the, um, some, some things that we got, some parts that I got, extra parts that I got, uh, just for a spare 2J that I have, as well as, um, as I mentioned, talk about the partnership that we have. Um, so just give me a moment and I'll set up and we'll go from there. As mentioned, I have some extra parts that I got for a spare 2J. Um, this one is just a intake manifold. This is the intake manifold off the VVTi 2JZ off of the Aristo. And I got this Aristo throttle body from Jordan Potter or Jay Potter. Uh, it's his uh, Instagram handle. He's local in Minnesota. He's doing a crazy, uh, I think he's doing a crazy 2JZ 350Z. Uh, running a CD09 uh, transmission. So thank you, Jordan, for hooking me up on getting a spare throttle body since this intake manifold does not come with one. When I bought this extra piece, sorry, when I bought this extra piece, it was uh, just the plenum was missing the throttle body. So now that I have a throttle body, I have a fully complete um, unit. I had two of these, but I sold the other one. I think I sold it to, my apologies, I'll post the Instagram, hand, Instagram handle of who I sold it to. Uh, he has another pretty pretty nice uh, Lexus GS300. So um, so all I'm gonna do right now is just by hand, just kind of uh, put this throttle body onto the intake manifold just so everything is together. Um, I can't remember the Instagram handle or who was making it, but they're making a kind of a little adapter plate that allows you to take a 2GE or 2JZ GE off of, uh, you know, the BBTI off of the regular Lexus GS300 and use a adapter to the, basically hook up a BBTI intake manifold onto it. So that is what I'm planning on doing with this. Um, and this is going to be for another 2J. I'm putting this on the intake manifold without adjust this a little bit. I have to move back a bit. And this um, is just going to be a spare, as I mentioned, but I'm not putting the gasket on it. I'm just, like I said, attaching everything so it's all in one place. There. I could easily run this one on my current 
setup. But after talking with Peter from uh, Hypertune, uh, he made it really hard not to buy their, their unit. He gave me a pretty good deal um, to get one of theirs. So that's one of the reasons why, uh, why I'm going aftermarket on the Intec Manifold. But yeah, like I was saying, there's a adapter that's being produced. I will put in the bottom of the screen the name of who is producing it. Um, but what they're doing is they're making an adapter that I think goes somewhere down here, I think. As you take this bottom piece of the plenum or runners off, I think you can use the OE uh, runners off the 2JZ GE, put the adapter right in the, in the middle of these, and then hook up this top part of the intake manifold, and at least be able to have a nicer, cleaner looking intake manifold compared to what's available when you uh, just keep your stock 2JZ GE intake manifold. So, yeah. And as I said, I'm just hand tight and tightening, tightening these, just so everything is in one piece. Come on. Yeah. So that's how it's gonna stay for now. Um, it's possible I put this on wrong, but. See, I don't know. Did I? I think I did. Maybe not. Maybe it's on right. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, it looks like it goes how I did it. But like I said, it's just gonna be a spare piece for the two JZGE um, that I have. So it's just gonna be extra so I can make a two JZGE look nicer on the intake side of things. Um, I like the Ross performance or even the Hypertune billet valve covers, so I may be running those valve covers on the new engine. So shortly or in the next set of videos, you guys will see the next engine and uh, what I plan on doing with it. But that will be for another video, as I said. So moving away from this, right? Uh, this extra piece, the bottom or the intake manifold plenum, I got it from eBay. And then this I just got from a local uh, Minnesota owner who's putting a 2JZ GTE VVTI off of Aristo, off of an Aristo into a uh, 350Z. So they're doing a 350 swap. All right, so the next piece I got is a grill. Um, this is a grill I got from Mark. Uh, I think on his Facebook, he goes by Marky Mark. And I'll put his Instagram handle down here, just like Jordan Potter, uh, or Jay Potter, I will put their Instagram handle. Thank you guys again for the help. Um, and again, Mark, for helping me uh, with this uh, grill. So what I'll be doing with this one is I'm gonna be running this grill, but without the actual grill off of it. I won't be running, as I said, the grill piece of the grill, if that makes any sense. I think I have all the proper tools to get the job done and I really don't. All right, so this is out. I don't, like I said, I don't need this piece. I'm just gonna run it open like this, right? Clean this up, get this sticker out of there. <clears throat> just get this ready to fit in the car. So that way, that way, um, when the car goes in for paint, the body shop does their magic to make this look good. Um, but again, I want the oil coolers to pretty much be right here. Um, but yeah, so 
You can picture how it's gonna look. It's gonna look like that on the, on the hood. So right now I just have the hood off the car, but that's how it's supposed to look. Once it goes in here, it'll fit in there nice. And if you can imagine, the coolers will be like right there. So, so yeah, so it's a nice piece. Again, I got from Mark. Thank you, Mark. And now for the item I really wanted to talk about, which is my partnership with Sonics Tools. All right, so now for the item I really wanted to talk about. This is a 48 piece impact socket set from Sonics Tools. They're one of our newer sponsors for the channel because um, we're gonna be needing a lot of tools to work inside the garage, especially now that I've been doing everything for my home garage. So I wanted to kind of uh, follow um, um, some of the footsteps of some of the other YouTubers, uh, some of the uh, some of the guys from uh, Speed Academy um, and other channels where they have really good relationships with uh, manufacturers that produce parts, tools, and shop shop garage tools that. Uh, you end up needing when you're working on your vehicle. Previously, they had given me a couple other things like, you know, some of these drink toaster things that I got from them, stickers, bottle opener. Um, and then they also uh, got me a hat. My son already wanted the hat when it arrived, so it looks like it's gonna be a hat for him. So let me just start by taking this off. Like I said, this is a uh, one quarter drive, 48 piece impact socket set. I know this unit will be um, a lot of help for future uh, jobs I have for the Lexus and the BMW. And uh, the goal is to be able to then continue to partner with Sonics Tools for additional items that we need. They make engine hoists, they make jacks, they make transmission uh, jacks and hoists, if you want to call them that, um, and impact tools as well. So our goal is to pretty much run as many Sonix tools products that we can, um, so we can all, not only use them, but show you how we use them uh, in the garage. So big shout out again to Sonix tools for hooking us up with a, uh, a toolbox like this, a set of tools, this 48 piece uh, impact socket wrench or socket set. Um, can't wait to start using them. Very short video. I'll provide you an update soon once I get, um, once I know where the transmission mount for the BMW transmission I'm running on the Lexus is, as well as some of the Hypertune parts that uh, should arrive. So um, again, we appreciate your support. We've now reached or hit or surpassed 400 uh, subscribers and we appreciate the support. Please continue to share our content and uh, comment below. I mean, I, I, I've received a lot of questions, people asking in regards like uh, of the IS300 from Ha. Um, I think people ask in regards to the Bolton roll cage that he's using, which is a Cusco one. Uh, so I put the comments and the part number in there. Uh, any questions that you guys have, please let us know. Again, please like and subscribe. We appreciate the support and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace out.